Look at the eyes. Nathan is giving it all. They're saying, I fancy you, you're fit, and I definitely would. <laughs> Did you get out? Are you stuck? <laughs> <laughs> It's like it falls down a hole. Oh, no. I did get a bit of a shock. That's me. Dating is hard. Throwing a global pandemic and not being allowed within two metres of each other, let's be honest, it's even harder than ever. So I've invited some YouTubers who are desperately in need of my dating expertise down to my pop-up celebrity dating agency to give them a helping hand and that little bit of extra confidence. Let's meet Mark. Hi Anna, it's Mark. I haven't been on a proper date in about a year. I need your help, I need your expertise. I need to learn to be more confident. Bring down my barriers. Please, please help me. Mark, well, welcome. Thank you so much. So, what can I do for you today? I do need a bit of more confidence approaching guys, right. being like, okay, you know what? They may find me attractive. I just need a little bit more confidence to know my worth. Yes! And that is exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to dive into the agency vaults, have a look at some of our celebrities when it comes to the dating scene, see what we can perhaps pick up on and what I can pick apart. Perfect. Um, Anna and Paul said I was going on a lunch date. We knew if anyone could do it, it'd be Nathan. Not getting hung from a queen. Oh my God. Oh my God, why is it spinning? <laughs> I would love to do a date like this. Please give me good day. Have they swapped names yet? <laughs> Hold my arm in case I fall. Oh. Oh, see, so cute. Nice little bit of tactile. Yeah, love that. I miss that. Look at the eyes. Nathan is giving it all. And this is where body language is so, so powerful. Even though they're not touching or anything at this point, everything about Nathan there is saying, I fancy you. Yeah. You're fit. And I definitely would. <laughs> do you want to go on a second date, which is what we just said? Oh. I'd love to go on a second date. If you said no, I know exactly what to do. <laughs> Don't do it, John! Oh my God! Oh, I like him. That confidence really shone through from Nathan. I'm just going to ask him and see what happens, you know, and, and he got the right answer. Did you get out? Are you stuck? No. It's like it falls down a hole. No. He's not that short, but it... No, it's it, just... A... It... Yeah. Where did he go? When the date had finished, oh. Sean stood up. I did get a bit of a shock. That's, that's me, I am Nathan. I'm used to guys either being like, maybe similar to my height or taller. He knows, like Nathan's, he's I mean, completely he's changed. He's not tall. Enjoy that. I love how the camera's down as well. It was different, but it was good. Let's unpick this because you're a tall guy. I'm 6'4". How would you react if you were Nathan in this day? I mean, I'd probably react the exact same way. I would, it, it would take me back a bit. Obviously I wouldn't be like, go away. <laughs> Everything we've just experienced in the last hour is a lie because you're like smaller than me. Yeah. Because it is a blind date after all. Like yeah. sometimes it would be nice to kiss someone who's looking at me, but I am extremely tall, so it's quite rare. Okay, mm. at least you're honest. Yeah. At least you're honest. But I'm not put off by a short guy. Like, let's get that right. Like, personality over anything. Okay, I mean, I think that's probably one of my favourite dates. Yeah, oh, 100%. So, Mark, are you ready for the next one? I am indeed. Okay, let's have a look. Jack's arrived to his first date with Carol at a ball pit slash bar. We took him to a ball pool. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, he's good looking, isn't he? Sickeningly good looking. Here she comes now. Hi, hey, how, how are you? Good. Would you like a drink? Oh, she's the waitress. Uh... Oh, my days, the waitress is fit. Okay, so, first things first, when you're going on a date, commit to the actual date you're supposed to be going on it with. Okay. He had checked out from poor old Carol before the poor girls even arrived. Hello, how, how are, are you? you? I'm Carol, how nice are you to meet you. How are you? I'd be so nervous. Yeah, nice. Thank you. yeah, I'm from the west of Ireland. Did you know who you were meeting? Yeah, yeah, What yeah, did they say? Yeah. Can you understand me? You know what it is? Her <laughs> <laughs> accent's not that It big. ain't that strong. No. Have you ever cheated? Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. I feel like that's, that's something I would ask on a first date. Okay. Yeah, straight in with the awkward yeah. questions. It's not Just awkward. Know. But it's an important question to you. That's yeah. fair enough. Did you have a good day? Don't pause. Yeah. Oh, Jack, that's such a lie. I think he's got his eye on someone else, not going to lie. I don't know Ooh. if there is a massive spark or connection. And I think the only thing I can be is completely honest. I think he handled that really well. Yeah. So Whereas I feel like if I was Jack, I'd probably be like, yeah, I'll see you again, Carol. I don't think I'm at that stage where I could do that yet. That's okay. what I want to work on. Okay. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, when I came in here, I saw you and I was like, <laughs> you're, you're more... The confidence is just unreal. Yeah. Than do my type. Yeah, he owns it. Well, I'm honest with you. She loves it. Yeah. I'd rather get to know you more. For sure. Yeah? Oh. Take it, do your thing. Oh, I'm Kate, by the way. 
Oh my god, he didn't even ask her. <laughs> I didn't even say your name. <laughs> Straight in there. What's your name? Take care. Oh my god, that's the dream. I just want someone to. Smooth. Yeah. That is the dream. Why is the waitress so attractive? <laughs> Uh, I mean, she moved extremely quickly onto Kate the Waitress, but hey, it's 2020. I think we all know now, just got to get on with it, right? Yeah, when you can. <laughs> when you can. Whenever Can't you can. can. <laughs> get them, baby. <laughs> right, are you ready for the next date? I'm ready. Well, this was new for 2020. This was social distance dating. <laughs> Fabulous parallel. Yeah. That. <laughs> I'm nervous <laughs> for her. It's like a big thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, who I am, if I do like girls and all, but I'm just excited, like, I've actually got butterflies. Yeah, what was it like walking into your first same-sex date? Oh, nerve-wracking. Hi. Hi. She was you nervous. Cool you can see she's fiddling with her hair. Yeah. yeah. That bit, that's what I do when I'm nervous. I'm really, really nervous, <laughs> Chloe. Yes, am I? Oh, yeah. I was ready for it. I was excited, but I'd never done it before, so I was very nervous. Honestly, there's nothing to be nervous about. You know when you go on a date with a guy? Yeah. That is basically how it is with Really? Oh, that's nice that she's, like, sort of calming her down. I find it so weird right now that I can't sit next to you. Like, I haven't been on So what would you do if you were sitting right like, next to us now? Oh my God, don't ask me that. <laughs> it is so different having a distance. You can just feel oh. like the different energy. But we can still date effectively whilst having to follow the distancing rules. Date Chloe is doing a great example of open body language. She's a lot more open, she's sitting a bit more forward. And that is how you can try and do your best with the social distancing, is by physically allowing your body language to do the talking yeah. without being able to touch them. <laughs> well, you know what, I've had such a good day. <laughs> That was quick. <laughs> you look like you're grinning from ear to ear. I am, just because I, I like, I've obviously wanted to talk yeah. about yeah. stuff like that for so long. I think she's a great first date to go on. So never worry about what people yeah. are going to say about you. Like, I'm Saying that, really something like, now. don't matter what other people think, is so true. Yeah. So, like, such a small thing, but it probably can change how she feels about it now. When it comes to the first time you've had your same-sex date, it must be so important. Yeah, especially if you're curious about your sexuality as well. It's like, for the other person to be like, you know what, don't care what other people think, just relax, like, <sighs> okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, this is so, so awkward. awkward. <laughs> Bye. 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 How do we say goodbye following the social distancing rules? As if you need anything extra I know, to throw I know, into exactly. the mix. Name it. If it feels awkward, tell them it feels awkward because chances are they are also feeling it as well. I think she's a beautiful girl, but I, I, don't, I don't know yet if I fancy her. Mark, it's been so nice to meet you. I'm really excited about what the future holds for you. Are you feeling, are you feeling better in the zone now? More confident, raring to go? More confident, more raring to go. I'm gonna take a chance and I'm gonna let you know how I get on. Yes, <laughs> do. I'm gonna well. take this. Please. Got my first social distancing date. Always a fresh breath when you have that first kiss. And Thank now you. we will do that socially distanced awkward. Bye. Bye. Thanks for having me. Bye. See ya. <laughs>